Well, they didn't come through for Kevin Spacey, so I don't think they're gonna be okay exactly. with shit. Yeah, I don't think they're trying to be on his side uh, like that, but it's interesting. P. Diddy, all you had to do was be open from the start yep. and just start going on dates with dudes. See? That's what I said. <laughs> Okay, it's about time we talk about this very fun thing that's been going on. Whoa, whoa, Diddy. Like four weeks ago, I feel like we first talked about Diddy. Yeah. And yeah. That whole shit has become a whole other beast now. Free my boy. Uh, yeah, so so we have one person that's for him. Let's, yeah. let's uh, now that we have that. Nick's yeah. always been a pretty bad boy supporter. Right. From, bad boy. from this moment on, you're for Diddy, so anything you say oh has to be in support of him. Of course. So let's do a, let's just do a recap. Wanna do a quick recap on what the hell just yes, happened? What yes, what happened? Yes. Um, Here's where it all began. It started when Cassie, you know the artist Cassie. Oh yeah. It started when she, yeah, she filed a lawsuit against him for past abuse. But weren't they like, were they married? They've been together for a long time. They were together time. for a while, like yeah. But I guess like when he was with her, uh, I mean the lawsuit details that he used to beat her, that uh, he used to, ba yeah, he used to rape her, and that he would also force her to have sex with other guys, and he would film it. That's so weird. And then she claimed that Diddy also blew up Kid Cudi's car because Kid Cudi was like hitting on her, like an explosion, uh, like, yeah, a like a mafia. Yeah, like wow. A and then uh, also, this is, you know, keep in mind that she was 19 when and he was 37. Oh. Time, so it's a pretty big difference. Uh, the day that that lawsuit went public, the next day Diddy's legal team uh, settled it. Wow. Next day, holy! Uh, you got a good yeah. legal team. So he was probably like, <laughs> Cassie, we'll give you, we'll give you forty mil. Yeah, I mean they knew about it, but then once the, the lawsuit actually hit the public eye, then they they tried to yeah. But it was one of those settlements where they're like, okay, we're gonna pay her the money. Nobody knows how much it was. There's like estimates that she was. Possibly demanding 30 million. They don't know, but it's one of those. It's not an admission of guilt mm -hmm. thing So did he continue to say none of that stuff is true, but we're gonna give her this money which kind of Sort of sucks that like it got settled out of court because now you'll never really know mm -hmm. yeah. um, So that's the, the way the legal system yeah. is though so because that lawsuit uh, went through and the settlement happened a bunch of other people started coming out uh, a number of women first came out saying that like, oh, he actually like f***ed me back then during this and and then another woman said that him and like a bunch of his uh, friends like had f***ed her, they drugged her, uh, a bunch of stuff came out. And then this guy came out and said that he had been uh, assaulted too. Lil Rod? Yeah, your boy, your boy. He's yeah. my boy Lil Rod, dude. Yeah, he said that like uh, Diddy had uh, made him have sex with like male or cookers or like he was saying Cuba Gooding Jr. was giving really them like yeah. some honky honks too. <laughs> wow. So the diddler, the P diddler, <laughs> he would he would just like watching? I don't know. He's That's just like, he's just super bi, huh? I didn't know he that. He could be, yeah, and then so he's a cuck. Yeah, and then and, uh, and a dom. Yeah. At the same time. So all these like accusations started piling up, all these lawsuits. At it no at no point did maniac. anyone on Diddy's side say that anything had validity. They were just like, oh, it's another money grab, it's a money grab, over and over and over. And then he got his properties raided by the feds over something that we don't know if it's connected to any of these things. It just says that like an inquiry was made, like a federal inquiry about Diddy being connected to a sex trafficking Accusation. But by the time they bust through your doors and they're searching, they have some strong reasons. Right, right. They can't Solid. go in without some. Yeah, water. somebody signed yeah. a thing. A judge had yeah. to have been like, yeah. Yeah. So then they don't know uh, anything else. They they did see some guns, I think, but so far there's no other. Uh, there's also hidden cameras in every room too. Yeah. Which that was I the funny stuff. Yeah. Which is probably for security reasons. Yeah, if he has a lot of parties and people going through his house. I, I heard yeah. he was hip hop Epstein. <laughs> I heard what he did. Classic. Hip hop Epstein's party. Yeah, like I you had it. you had these parties, <laughs> P Diddy parties, as they say, right? Yeah. And Diddy. then you know, like uh, Cat Williams has this joke about how like these Hollywood parties, you would go, and then oh, yeah. it's a normal party, and then you start going into different rooms, and you start opening these doors, and he goes, "There's a door that you wish you never saw." And then he was probably talking about one of P. Diddy parties mm -hmm. where you open up the door, LL Cool J sucking on oh. like Cuba Gooding Jr.'s dick, oh. you know, <laughs> fucking Usher's licking his butthole at the same time, oh. you know, and then P. Diddy's watching and he's like looking at it and he's like, bad boy, baby. <laughs> bad you boy, a bad, bad life. boy. 
So that's interesting you should say that. One of the things that blew up recently is a, what they call a leaked eye. Oh, we're gonna talk about this? There's no like real, <laughs> There's no, nothing conclusive yet that it's what people say it is, but it, like it's been said that it's a leaked audio of Meek Thank Mill you. and Diddy in a room. <gasps> oh, oh. You be the judge on if that's what you think is going. We're gonna play it. Oh, oh shit, dude. <laughs> I've been on this shit. Wow. We've been playing this in the gym all week. We're like, hey, did you guys hear this audio? <laughs> Yo, I'm hyped right, we're on this. Yeah. Listen up. What's oh. your right. content? It's gonna, it's gonna come at you quick. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Keep your eyes closed. Don't open them. Yeah, it'll help you visualize it. Lick your lips once. There you go. Now you're ready. <laughs> <clears throat> Presenting Diddy and Meek Mill in E minor. <laughs> oh, How do you know? Oh, wait, it cut oh, off. Cut Sorry. Off. <laughs> How do you know that's them? Well, come on, think about Diddy's voice, think about Meek Mill's voice, and then let me know if you think it's them. Ready? <laughs> Yo, stop. Uh, also, what about AI? Now? So, so this dude is claiming that he recorded it. Yeah, he's it. the guy claiming that he recorded it. Wait, was he deep throating or something? No, no, he yeah, why is it? Oh, he no, I don't know. <laughs> no, he's getting fucked in the ass. Sounds like he's getting, sound like getting fucking busted. Here, listen to this yeah, guy's. Yeah. Listen to his explanation for context. I don't know if this is even really the guy, but I don't trust it's going him. around. I don't really trust him, but it's a everything. it's a fun story. I believe everything. All the champagne was spiked. Everybody was passed the fuck out. I don't drink. I don't drink, so I was playing that shit off like I don't fucking drink. I smoke, nigga. Like I smoke and I had my own weed, but like everybody was passed out. Yo, Diddy had that man in the room. Look, yes, I put my ear to the fucking door and I brought the phone because Diddy started going in overdrive. I ain't know what the fuck was going on, but I just heard balls slapping against ass cheeks. <laughs> Niggas struggling to take dick. I heard niggas being like, yeah, Daddy. daddy when, I, when, when he started calling, all that daddy this and daddy that and then i heard some hollering and struggling like yeah i kept the phone there and i recorded all that shit because i was like this nigga diddy bitch so i'm finna, finna put the squeeze on and give me a <laughs> when i heard that last part i was like oh maybe that's true then <laughs> i go maybe maybe that's the reason why. he's such a rough sexer <laughs> That guy's like too funny for that to yeah, be yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I heard balls. Yeah, yeah. Like, no, I believe this full hundred percent. Because he was like, I was gonna blackmail him. Yeah, that <laughs> He's admitting crazy. to this. That sounds like some rough butt sex. Yeah. Painful. But it's Very painful. painful. You know, based on the stories about Diddy, I'm like, if that was his, like, it sounds like that's his, you know, fuck that, style. That dude. could be anybody. Could be yeah. I think it's him, dude. I think you it's really him. Think it's no, him. I don't know. They're, they play that for like people that verifiably know both of their voices very well, and those dudes are saying it's them. Yeah, no, it's hundred percent. I, I heard, I heard that uh, they, what he does is he would record people mm -hmm. in these like compromising acts yeah. and then he's like I got you oh, so yeah, I could like release it so it's like Epstein yeah. of the hip-hop world mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that's strong evidence yo they should get an interview yeah. from Mike Tyson you guys see that clip Bro. with Diddy and Mike Tyson oh at oh, Arsenio yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah where he was like hey stop it yeah, 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 yeah I saw and that so I'm like I'm, get an interview <laughs> it's the execution for me <laughs> Get an interview from him now. Like, what? Him. What does that mean? Yeah. What happened? Yeah. Like, what happened? Is it like the way we perceive it, or is there some other real? Shit? You really became Mike. I know. For a I like you transformed <laughs> into him you for a know. second. I was pretty good. Mike's like, oh, you know. Cause he's the scariest man alive. Dude, they're Diddy sitting hella a, close. Man, if Diddy don't even give a fuck about the scariest man yeah, alive. What does he have on him? <laughs> Jesus right. fucking Christ. Dude, did you see that one with him and Lil Wayne? And then the. The Lil Wayne's talk, like, oh, yeah, yeah, basically yeah. he's talking shit right in front of Bitty's yep. face. Yeah. I saw that one too. Yeah. Saying like, these guys in the industry, they are on the down low. Mm -hmm. They're, you know, they're really just banging guys out there. And then like, yeah, it was, it was there's pretty not, awkward. Yeah. There's been so much questionable shit though. Remember like back yeah. when I think it was, maybe when we were in high school or something, but there's like pictures of Wayne kissing Birdman. Oh. Like there's has always been so much yeah, questionable crazy. shit and I feel like finally we got something that can kind of connect all the dots. Yeah. But you always see really weird things. I, I was watching this thing, it was like a little mini doc about this, but like it, it was pretty interesting. It said something about like in hip hop culture, 
gayness is so feared that that becomes the main weapon to use to blackmail anyone in hip hop. Mm. <clears throat> that makes sense. Because it's so homophobic. Yeah. Like the feeling of like, oh, they're gonna know I'm gay. Yeah. Like making a rapper look gay is like worse than just killing Damn. them. Hell yeah, it's <laughs> ego. It's ego. Especially during the gangster rap era. Yeah. Like that's like, that's like no one wants to be known. But then like, I'm still, I, I still can't shake the fact that I really honestly believe that Diddy pissed somebody off that's very powerful. Mm. And that's why all this in a row is happening. Jay-Z. You think he pissed off oh, Jay-Z? Well, that's that's, that's the another other theory though. Yeah, that's the yeah, other yeah, conspiracy. Yeah, yeah. What did he, why, how? I don't know how, but. Uh, d d d like they had a falling out? So the conspiracy with Jay-Z is, or the theory with him is he's playing the long game. Mm -hmm. And over the last 20, 30 years, all the people that have went down are close to Jay-Z. And they all like, and the, that the final result, the person that benefits is Jay-Z from each one of these things, that the people that go down. So That's the it. same with P. Diddy. You know the original record label that he had um, before Bad Boy, or was it Bad Boy? It, it was one of those. It was like a. It was like a. It was. I think it was pre Bad Boy, but uh, I think Heavy D and all these old, old school guys were on it. Yeah. Everyone's dead. Wow. Mm -hmm. Except P. Diddy. Why? It's kind of his thing. There is a whole other uh, list of, um, I guess, like a theory list of all these people that died through him. That's like a whole other rabbit hole, but this, I guess the whole like uh, thing with the sexual abuse are the only things that are actually being legally filed. So all the death stuff is like, no, nobody's ever taken any kind of legal action against. No one's yeah. ever like, hey, someone died because of you. I'm going to like make sure like it's all just kind of urban legend stuff. As far as How I about know? that one dude that, that killed Tupac said P. Diddy gave him a meal to do the hit. There's like a yeah, I don't know. There's a lot of guys that are saying yeah. that I killed Tupac. Everybody wants yeah. to be the guy that killed him. Yeah. Like the, the, I think the consensus, as far as I've heard from people, is that that dude's dead already. The guy that actually really did it. Yeah, I saw the body cam saying like, uh, the guy picking up the Keith dude saying, "Hey, you're, you're getting arrested for the murder of Tupac." What the? Fuck? There was a body cam, police body cam and mm. shit. And he went on a whole documentary interview and everything. Damn, I don't know, man. Damn. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's interesting because I remember think um, there was back then like when when there was all the hip hop beefs, right? Mm -hmm. uh, Tupac took Dr. Dre off of the. So there's two versions of California Love. There's one with Dre and one without. And the one without, at the end, Tupac says, "Without gay ass Dre." And then everyone's like, back then you called everybody oh, gay. Yeah. Remember? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You called everybody gay. Like you just, you just when you when you got into a fight with someone, you would call them gay. Yeah. But there was actually like, like he had he, he there was evidence that I think Dre was uh, Dr. Dre was like, like either like grooming or like sexually harassing the interns or whatever. He had gay relationships and all that, and he tried to come on to Tupac. And they had a fallen out. That and then so, mm -hmm. Tupac, I think he was like, yeah, without gay ass Dre. And then he, I think he, 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 I don't know, something happened there where there was an issue. And I was like, damn, I didn't know there were so many like predators in the hip hop game where they're like, you know, trying to put on young musicians. And then they're like, oh, I'm gonna be a gangster rapper too. And he goes, yeah, you're gonna be my boyfriend too. Yeah, yeah. You know? But at the same time, it does make sense. Cause even in the most hardcore of environments, which is jail, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. that's part of it, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like if yeah. you can, if you can like fuck a dude, like he's your ultimate bitch. Yeah. And then if you're it's making, powering. and if you're making music of the streets, like why wouldn't it reflect that? Mm. You know? That's crazy, you know? At so the you're telling me. <laughs> dude, a gang's, like a gangster ass dude's end goal is to be in jail and to fuck butts. Yeah. That's gay. Yeah, yeah. That's not even gangster. But anymore. when you say it the way, but, but when you say it the way he said it, it goes. So you're telling me the manliest thing I could do is fuck another guy. Right. Exactly. Maybe we're just <laughs> we, we haven't hit Nirvana. Yeah. yeah. Maybe I'm looking at that this thing the all wrong. <laughs> scariest and threatening thing. That's why yeah. I'd rather I just be so. beta. <laughs> I don't like, want to be alpha, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm so good. That's, that's what that's what makes me so confused. Is that like, why can't you just be a regular non-rape-based gay guy? Mm. Why do you have to be like a gay fucking 
monster. Yeah. Like, why can't you just be a, go on a date with a dude? I think yeah. Diddy's got too much power, bro. Like, like, he's just too... That, like, if and I don't even know if he's gay. Yeah. Diddy? Yeah, might you know be, what I mean? Like, yeah. they might be so power tripping that it's like, yeah. I'm just fucking for you because I can. It's like people oh, yeah. that be eating caviar. Like, do you yeah. really like the yeah. taste? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or are you just rich as fuck? <laughs> like, I actually like to, I like to fuck Cassie. Ca but that's not fun. I'd it's more fun to fuck dudes. I'd argue it's it's a matter of perspective, <laughs> like is right? It is, yeah. It's like Diddy's probably has sex with so many different chicks, so powerful. I think at a certain point, it's just like, let me, try let me just things. let me see if I could just fuck this guy in the ass. <laughs> like I think that's where these guys go. Crazy yeah. Jump. No, but for that is a big jump. No, it's, it's a big crazy. jump, but I feel like no. You're you right. You're right. I think you're, there's statistics to back yeah. up that people in power end up doing some bored. Yeah. wild there's shit. There's a certain like threshold of boredom that you, you yes. get. Yes. You got a you got a Lambo, zero to sixty four seconds. Mm -hmm. Then so. you get a yacht. Then you got a private jet. Yeah. You got to ride something else that tops all the other yeah, things. And it's oh. Meek Mill, my boy. Dude, you got to fucking ride Meek Mill now. <laughs> it's yeah, Meek it's Mill, it's dog. Meek Mill, all of that. You got to ride, a, you know, you know ride my, a dude. My friend's brother is a banker. A <laughs> Grammy <laughs> award winning dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not any dude. <laughs> he, so my friend's brother's a banker. He got pretty close to one of his clients who was like, bro, you know where I can get the ladies with the penis? <laughs> Lady? Yeah, and then he's like, what? He goes, yeah, I thought you Asians, you know, you know, you know where to get the <laughs> ladies with the You penis. Asians? <laughs> yeah. And then he's all like, what the heck? No, I don't, I don't, he goes, no, I'm not gay, bro. I'm not gay. He goes, I didn't call you gay. And he goes, yeah, but when you get to a place like me, any woman you want, any, anything you want, you get bored. And then he was I telling me the story that, like, yeah. what? So then... His whole thing is he loved trans women. And then like pre-op, you know? Like that was like a big thing. And he was just looking for companionship. And I was like, that's such a weird conversation to be having with your banker. Yeah, you ask yeah. your cab driver, not your banker. The yeah. banker. <laughs> right? The next guy in line's all, can you guys hurry it up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is kind of funny though that like- But I mean like your sexual, yeah, Desire and novelty for things. It's like, yeah, if you if you're super rich and you can have anything you want, then what's the next thing that's gonna make you feel like, ooh, this is exciting and new? I think it's also legality comes into question where if when you have a certain amount of power, why not test what you can get away with? Yeah. If you're getting away with so much already. Yeah, but I would never think to stick my penis inside of a rapper's butt. Oh, you just wait. You'll just get that wait. powerful. I think yeah. it can happen to all of us, yo. Yeah. I think we all, yeah, especially you. It's questionable. Think, yeah. <laughs> especially Colleen. Especially those of us yeah. who are but, packing. Yeah. <laughs> I want to know the thought process, okay, of how it goes to that. Like, how does it go from... Dude, I want to be powerful and build an army. He's thinking about it right or now. Or like, I want to, you know, I want to... I want to own all the car dealerships of California. Like, you know, you have these ambitious dreams, yeah. right? But what, at what point, car dealerships in California. at what point does it go to like that rapper right there? I want him to lick my bowels. Maybe it's like, I don't get it. Maybe what? it's all the source. I think of that's a good thing. The source yeah. of all this. <laughs> yeah. The primary source of any of this is maybe it's just his wife is nagging. <laughs> So he's like, fuck, I gotta get my frustration out somewhere. Where you at, Meek? <laughs> Where you at? Have you ever yeah. seen P. Diddy on a, there was, he was on this podcast called Drink Champs. And he's, uh, and they're all like sitting around drinking. And you see him talk and he just seems so odd. And he's just making everyone else feel really uncomfortable all the time. <laughs> and it's going on for like an hour and a half. And he keeps like touching his, the guy like, yo. And the guy that he's playing around with is clearly not a just like, ah, yeah, <laughs> you know, everyone's just kind of, everyone's body language is really interesting in that interview. Oh, is that what, uh, champagne? I mean, uh, with what Charlemagne? Charlemagne. <laughs> champagne! <laughs> champagne to God! <laughs> I don't know if he was in that one. No, no, no. That's breakfast. He's club. forever that now. <laughs> champagne. Champagne, the guy. Champagne. Now. Damn. Dude, dude's an odd guy, bro. He's he's an interesting cat. You know what? You know what? I can't help but think about though. The, all this, like, as soon as it turned out to be, th there's a, almost a dividing line. As soon as that first guy came out and said, "Oh, dude, he used to make me do gay shit," it 
Super has now overshadowed the original women's accusations that came out after Cassie. Yeah. Wow. And I and I can't that's help but feel like that's part of the deal. Okay, so the other thing though too, when I heard from a lot of ladies, like when the Cassie stuff came out, I heard a lot of ladies go, Well, he's just trying to grab money. He's just trying to do yeah. she's just trying to do all that. Like yeah. and I'm like, dude, I didn't know all these people were such big fans of Diddy like that. You know, like where they're like defending him and I was like, dude, when's the last time you made like a a, a good song. Like yeah, I just don't remember. Yeah, yeah. I like that's a low a hanging guy. fruit though. Too any woman that's gonna come out against him is just gonna be like, oh, you just want money. Yeah, but also too, would you if you heard the details of what happened in the cast shit, you're like, yeah. it's so specific. Yeah. Where you go like, yeah. uh, it sounds like I don't know. It's, it's really like specific. It. And they yeah. were together. Yeah. That's right. his. Yeah. That was his partner. Yeah. So like, what's and they got receipts. And he's also been like. I think a lot of people have accused him of like multiple and, and the people that are, the women that are accusing him, some mm. of them have filed photograph, like photographic yeah. evidence. Yeah. Whoa. They haven't released any of that stuff, but they have enough to back it up. So that's what makes you feel like if, if I think in, in my world of demented thinking, if I was being accused of like, if all these women were coming after me, and then it suddenly got spicy that I might be gay. I'd be like, I might be gay, guys. Like, that's even crazier, right? You know, like, oh, it's an easy fucking, yeah. like, look yeah. at the news. The They're not talking about those first women yeah. anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not even talking about that shit yeah. at all. My whole thing was when 50 Cent PR. first came yeah. out. Oh. When 50 Cent first came out, I was like, this motherfucker tried to take me shopping. Like, this motherfucker's funny. I was like, he's guilty. It feels it easier all. to focus on more outlandish things that you can never prove, like these murders that have happened because of him, like then to be like, oh, I'm being accused of real ah. that I might have done, you know? I mean, to me, looking at this, you know, P. Diddy's like never the gangsta, right? But like to be a pretty boy that's around like New York, you know, underworld and like all that, you just like, you always think like, how did he survive there? You know what I mean? Like, it, it's like he's he's yeah. There's <laughs> nothing shady about this, yeah. but he's he comes from that world. But he always like separates himself. Like, I'm the fucking dancing producer. Yeah, take yeah, that, yeah, take yeah. that. You know, like he plays dumb very well. He does, but the like, dancing. you don't see him as this threatening gangster. You see him as this like oh, yeah. Yeah, everyone yeah. makes fun of him. Ah, you know. And then when you saw like yeah. Death Row or whatever, you're just like, oh, these guys are gangster, whatever, right? And then you're like, wait, but how did Bad Boy survive that era of gangster ass New York? Well, wasn't he the first person that, I mean, for me, it was the first person that I ever saw in rap that was primarily focusing on money, like mm -hmm. having a lot of money. Yeah. Cause before it was like, oh, I'm, I'm dangerous, I'm cool. Yeah, yeah, but he yeah. was just fucking rich off yeah, the bat. Yeah. I was like, yeah. this guy's first debut album, sure. yeah. Do you guys remember when he kept changing his name from Puff Daddy yeah. to P Diddy to Diddy and then yeah. like to, he had all these different names, but apparently all the times he changed his names was from like different lawsuits or like him oh. getting in trouble a bunch. So it was like, oh, okay, this guy is just, oh. But but you don't hear about that. You just hear him like I'm just. It's like a Chinese restaurant that just changes the name when the IRS comes after them. Boom! But it's the same restaurant. It's the same restaurant. It's now under their aunt's name. Exactly. He's he's playing the game, dude. He's a Chinese restaurant. He seems like a guy who's very covert and very. He plays the game. Yeah, that's what makes me feel like the bigger it becomes as a spectacle, the more that it is nothing but a spectacle, and that's what worries me. I'm like, so you think you... nothing's gonna happen after this? I don't think like anything's gonna happen with the coolest sounding shit because I think oh. the coolest sounding shit never happened. Yeah. I think the most saddest things, it's like someone just got raped. You know, like yeah. it's not, it's an unsexy, not, getting, not sensationalist yeah. headline, so yeah. no one cares anymore. Yeah. But I think yeah. like, all they care about is P. Diddy Gang! Yeah. 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 And I think like this guy's gone this far, I think navigating it. Dude, what if he pivots it to being a gay icon and everyone just loves him? <laughs> Dude, oh with you, the way things are going, imagine, though, bro, I wouldn't count that out. That's what yeah, I mean. I wouldn't like, count that out. like, because it, it's an <laughs> interesting take that you bring that up because it is true. Where you hear about all this and you're like, yeah, all I am hearing about is Diddy being gay, and that's yeah. like his biggest yeah. effect. And then he has like a book. He has a coming out tour. He fucking has a music video where he's super flamboyant oh, yeah, and he goes yeah. and he's acquitted of he all charges. Oh, yeah, man. dude. Because for every person that's doing like crimes like this, so, there's someone fighting for them going, well, it only happened because he was so suppressed being homosexual in a rap world. You know what I mean? Like yeah. someone's gonna be like, dude, what a patriarchy <laughs> rap world. What a great rationalization. I have a hard time that the gay community is ready 
way to fucking back them up like yeah. that though. <laughs> Cause it's like, can you be backed up by the gay community post? Yeah. I don't know. But it they may not have to be. Well, they didn't come through for Kevin Spacey, so I don't think they're gonna be exactly, okay with yeah. shit. Yeah. I don't think they're trying to be on his side uh, like that, but. It's interesting. P. Diddy, all you had to do was be open from the start yep. and just start going on dates with dudes. See? That's what I said. <laughs> That's what I've been saying. <laughs>